I've seen so many people leave lately and it's just like holy shit like we're on week number three I got my uniform my days don't feel like days anymore the time doesn't feel like time today I was also like in the aircraft and I'm like shit this is about to be my job we got our bases I miss my house I miss New York I miss my people I miss the food hey guys today is Tuesday, March 29th. I have some exciting news. Yesterday, we got our bases, and guess where I'm going? <laughs> JFK! Hey. So I'm gonna be based home, which is great. I don't have to think about crash pad, moving, commuting, none of that. So I'm excited. Um, and yeah, that's about it. I at this point i'm repeating outfits so i'm just gonna show you what i have on before i head out so i have this cute little sweater top some bell bottom pants and some vans and then i have like an orange cardigan so when it's a little bit chillier in the class i can just throw that on but i'm excited i got my base i got my exam today I think we're entering hell week because it's exam after exam after exam after exam after exam. So I gotta go because my report time is at 11.15. It is 10.51. So yeah, I'll see you guys later with the great news that I passed my exam. Guys, I'm back home. And another one bites the dust. And another, da, 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 da. another one bites the dust. I passed my exam. But we did lose one person. It was so sad. Like, it's like you don't even have time to like register everything that's going on here, to be honest. You just have to like keep going, keep going because it's, it's never ending. It's like never ending right now. My days don't feel like days anymore. The time doesn't feel like time. It's 8:50 p.m. and I, I'm. It feels like like it's Monday every single day. Every every single day I've been here feels like a Monday. And I don't know. Nothing's wrong with Monday, but Mondays are always like where you have to do everything. I don't know. It sets the tone for the entire week, and then I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but hello guys. Welcome back. Welcome back. I mean. Technically, it's me coming back. I did not vlog the beginning of my day, but today would have been the 30th, but it's the 31st. I'm just settling in, and I have great news. One, well, two. One, I passed my exam, and two, I got my uniforms. So, here we are. I want to show you guys some of the pieces and I just hope it fits honestly and this is my reaction okay 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 the only thing I wasn't able to get is the the luggage I think it's back order but that's cool I just hope that everything fits oh my god all my pieces came in that's crazy all right let me put you guys over here all right, so I got all my pieces. I'm not gonna take out the coat because it's folded up nicely and I just don't, I don't. So I got a shirt, a belt, an apron, a mask, the scarves, the long sleeve shirt, the skirt, and the pants. Oh wait, I didn't get my blazer. Hold up, hold up. Where's my blazer? I don't think my blazer is in here. All right, so you know what? I'm gonna put on my uniform and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna show y'all. Okay guys, I feel like a freaking, well I am a flight attendant, but. Hello, hello. Hello, it's me. Coffee? What would you like? It's 
March 31st and it is 11.53 a.m. We're doing stimulations today, meaning that we're gonna be on the aircraft. So yeah, I have another exam today, which I'm gonna kill. I'm gonna aim for 100 and nothing less. And yesterday I showed you guys my uniform, but it was so dark and I couldn't give you the proper the proper fit but I'm gonna try to do it on my day off I have everything like right here so yeah I just wanted to come on in check in I was just listening to some Nas getting that blood pumping still doing some last minute studying and brushing up on my lectures but yeah that's all guys I really don't have much to say there's not much to talk about just 22 days left 22 just 22 we already knocked down about 14 16 days i feel like i've been here forever i miss my house i miss my mom i miss my sisters my sisters do not know that i am here the only person that knows that i'm here is my mother no one else in my circle knows anything i've been lying to my sisters this whole time and i feel horrible every day i talk to my mom and i'm like Ugh, I feel so bad my sisters are asking me about this new job that I got and little do they know that I'm gonna be here but if y'all watching this y'all gonna y'all gonna reap the benefits so at the end of the day I am so sorry for lying to you guys but it's I want everything to be set in stone before I share my great news but yeah okay I gotta go yeah we gotta go downstairs we have a report for 1205 is 11 58 much 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 later okay guys so i am back in my hotel it is 2 44 a.m april 1st okay doesn't want to focus anyways i tried but today was extremely long we got out of out of class rarely as you can tell i'm up studying for another exam that we have tomorrow today i passed my exam but right now i'm just practicing well not practicing just going over some material that will prepare me for tomorrow we're moving on to almost hell week ah, i was in class today and i was so tired that i started like looking at my calendar and counting the days to graduation without the off days and it was 20 no 19 days until graduation until we leave so the countdown begins now i'm excited i can't believe it i could believe it but i can't believe it but i could and like today i was also like in the aircraft and i'm like shit this is about to be my job like it is my job but it's like this is happening like it was such a surreal moment that it was just like wow look at god look at the timing look at how everything just played out i'm blessed and highly favored and i just i can't express the emotions that i have but yeah that's the check-in for today good morning guys it's 11:48 a.m i am pretty much ready just doing my hair we are almost there almost there after next week i feel like then it will be like super surreal because right now it still feels like in the very beginning stages although today after today's exam we're gonna hit this the middle mark of written exams so that's great looking forward to finishing all of those because not gonna lie to you guys that anxiety before taking a test i've never noticed how much anxiety a person can have when you have like literally like so much pressure on your back to like perform and, and do things that you know you've never done before in a short amount of time so that pressure really does kick in and I, you never want no one wants to fail so it's like when you see or hear somebody else in in that situation you just i mean at least for me i feel super bad because I know for me this is like my dream career so I'm sure a lot of people feel the same way and to have to go home for like exam taking kind of sucks but again it's like this job is really about safety and if you don't know what you're doing then how can you ensure safety of everybody including yourself so I get it but it's also like heartbreaking to see a few inches later 
you can put quotes in it, song lyrics, whatever you want. We just ask that you're not using profanity or put in any test answers in there. <laughs> <laughs> Think about when you were here and you first got this started. What were you thinking? Oh, I got two papers. Good. Just in case I mess up. What were you thinking about? I'm going to put like some. Take a deep breath. You made it. You're almost there. Something like that. Because I got it. He was nervous. Yes. Okay, so in this clip, we were actually writing notes to future flight attendants because when we first started training, that's the first thing they gave us, a note from a previous flight attendant that was in training in the same shoes that we were sitting in. Well, not the same shoes, the same seats. This was just such a cool opportunity to do the same thing for someone else because we know exactly what they're feeling and going through. So this felt really, really cool to do and return the favor. guys i'm back home it is 11 08 p.m can you see that boom i'm excited today was actually a really good day also passed my exam but i had a good day today it was a little long for sure but overall we had like we always have free lunch because technically we get an allowance here and we get free food but today we had Chipotle and although Chipotle is not the greatest, in my opinion, don't come for me, this is just my opinion, because I love me some authentic Mexican food, but it made me feel like I was home. Like I miss, I miss my house, I miss New York, I miss my peoples, I miss the food. Yeah, anyways, that was nice and it was cool and then like the whole day was just like everybody was in good spirits and i'm enjoying myself a little bit more less stressful we're halfway there like i'm just excited for what's about to start happening next week tomorrow we have our first msv which is more hands-on training well not training is an exam so you have to really be prepared for that. I might do some stuff on camera, but not too much because I can't give out that material. As much as I want to share all the information with you, I cannot. And I'm sure you know that. But it's safe to say that we are almost there. So today is Saturday. I had no idea it was Saturday until I spoke to my mom. Today I have a MSV, my first MSV, and I'm excited because it's finally making sense. I'm finally finding my groove. I'm finally understanding everything coming together. It's just, it's crazy. It's crazy because last week I was losing my shit because of everything that was going on in the backhand. But now, like, now I understand what, what I'm doing, how I'm doing it, and what things are for, and how to do them. And it's just... I I'm about to be a flight attendant like I am in my mind I'm already a flight attendant but now this is like sealing the deal I'm excited I can't wait to go home once I get home I'm able to actually embrace it and celebrate it with my loved ones and I just can't wait to share the great news with them so <sighs> my room has no good service none whatsoever but it is 11 no is it no it's 10 o'clock 10 p.m. and I passed my MSVs, which were less intense than what I anticipated. Tomorrow we have a KSV and I'm going to study for that before I go to bed because we have a early day tomorrow. And to be quite honest, oh wow, to be quite honest, I'm exhausted. Like today we didn't, I didn't feel like we did a lot but 
it took the things that we did do took a little bit longer because you have to wait for everybody to do their stuff although i was one of the first people to go because i knew how the process was going to be and i wanted to get in and out even if i was the first one i didn't care put me first let me get it over with and done and i don't really have much to say what else did we do today oh we did like safety demo stuff we got some of the uh, safety equipment that we will be using for this upcoming week, which is Hell Week. And I'm excited to finally be on that week to get it over with. And I know this week is going to be tough. It's going to be tough, but I'm ready. There's not a battle that I cannot fight. So, yeah, I'm going to get right into it. I just wanted to touch in and tell you guys that your girl passed her MSVs. And, yeah. Happy Saturday, April 2nd. I'll see you tomorrow. I just made it back from school. From class, technically. It's so blurry. What the heck? Come on, focus. Focus. Okay. So I just made it back. It is 6.41 p.m. April 3rd on a Sunday. And great news i passed my exam like i said i'm not here to play no games okay there's a new little angle here uh me and my friend were planning to go out to eat so we could just decompress from this long ass week tomorrow we have an off day which is so great we need it and what did we do today today it wasn't that interesting honestly we were doing stuff that we've been doing for the past week just on another aircraft so right now i'm on yelp looking for a place for us to eat some steak because we're in the mood for some steak okay and that's pretty much it that's what the day is going to consist of some good food good vibes good talks just not thinking about class school and any of this we need a mental like escape because honestly I'm not gonna lie this week has been crazy not crazy not so so crazy but like just draining because it's just a lot of information and i know you probably heard that before but it's the truth all you get is just information thrown at you and you just have to absorb it and it's either you get it or you don't there's no in between nine minutes till 7 a.m and i have to be down there in like 10 minutes April 5th. It's April 5th. Holy shit. I think the last time I spoke to you guys, I said I went out to I was gonna go out to dinner. I didn't bring you guys because it was a moment between me and my friend. So yeah, guys, it's crazy. Time is really flying by. This is the last week we wear business casual attire, and then next week, Thursday, we officially start wearing our uniforms, which I need to go get altered my pants because they're super long but yeah guys that is the tea for today and i'll check back in when i get home i think we have an early dismissal please 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 so yeah that's all for today oh it's tuesday taco tuesday like i said every day to me feels like a monday even the days off a few inches later hello guys i am back from class i've been in my room for like an hour and 30 it is 5 7 p.m shit i forgot my batteries is low on this let me change it and come back okay guys so i'm back and i passed my exam i passed my msv we had two we had a, a written exam and a actual physical exam with another aircraft past both of them no surprise knock on wood everything is gonna keep going we're literally on ksv number number nine and there's like after this it's three more left 10 11 12 three more <gasps> i'm excited things are getting so real we also got our destination to do our first flight which is the ioe so i'm going to <laughs> I'm going to freaking Boston. I'm excited, but I wish I was going somewhere else. Some of my classmates are going to Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, Costa Rica. And I'm like, damn, why didn't you put me on that flight? But everything happens for a reason. I'm sure I'm going to meet some cool people on this trip. 
and hopefully they give me some good tea and tricks and tips and all this stuff so yeah it's getting real hello guys i am back it is 12 37 wednesday i just been studying for this test that we have tomorrow honestly guys the tests like the questions are getting trickier if i'm talking weird it's because i got my liners in so yeah but i just been studying this whole time i ended up doing laundry i got uh food from here that like wings and fries i literally just stopped the vlog when i when my friend called me today was an early dismissal but tomorrow i'm assuming we're gonna leave like around midnight i'm i'm aiming for midnight because the activity that we have to do is another aircraft and everybody has to do the activity in front of everyone so it's like it takes time to get those things done so hopefully it's earlier than midnight but if it's not at least i'm setting myself up for that time frame and i won't be caught off guard so i'm gonna get back to this because uh, this is like a lot of information that i have to retain by tomorrow and like make sure that i know what the fuck i am doing i'm excuse my language but honestly guys i've seen so many people leave lately and it's just like holy shit like we're on week number three and to have to leave now like there's no fucking way like i'm not putting myself in that position i'm going to do anything that i can to like make sure that i cover all the topics that are in this exam so yeah let me get right back into it I failed my first exam yesterday. I failed my first exam 